In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and run a VPS. So if you're new to using a VPS, it basically means virtual private server. This gives you access to a virtual machine that runs on a physical server, providing you with CPU, RAM and storage. So you'll be able to use your phone or computer to manage this server from anywhere you are. So currently I'm managing this VPS from my phone and I'm going to show you how I set this up. With this, I can run including my trading platforms and many other. So the first thing you want to do is sign up for Amazon Web Services. And this is quite easy to do. You want to go ahead and open your browser. Once the browser is open, you can search for Amazon Web Services. I'm simply going to leave the link in the description. Click on the link and this will take you to Amazon Web Services. And once you're here, you want to tap on create a free account. On this page, root user email address, you want to enter your email address and then enter your name. Once you're done, tap on verify email address. Now you need to open your email and you see the code. Copy the code and then go back to the page and paste the code in this section. Tap on verify. And the next step is to create a password, which the password must include uppercase letter, lowercase letter, numbers and non alphanumeric character. Once you've entered a good combination of password, you see all with green check. Now confirm the password in this section again by entering the same password you've just entered. Once you're done, tap on continue. And the next step, you need to choose a plan. So this is where you choose your free plan. Now keep in mind that this will only last for six months. After six months, you need to start paying if you want to continue using the same service. There are several plans here. You want to make sure that the plan in which you are choosing is the first option here, which is free six months. Tap on choose free plan. And then scroll down and enter the contact information in this section. So I'm going to go ahead and fill them. And check on, I have read and agreed to the terms of Amazon Web Services customer agreement. Now tap on agree and continue. Here you don't need to worry much. So if you've seen this, this is just for the purpose of verification and to prevent fraud. And the sum of $1 or equivalent will be charged from your account for up to 3 to 5 days. Now for a free plan, which is what we are, no charges or call until you upgrade to a paid plan. Providing your billing information now enables a seamless upgrade to a paid plan. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all this information here. Now after filling your card information, you need to tap on verify and continue and it will bring you to this page. On the next page, you need to verify your number. You can verify with text message, SMS or voice call. In this section, you want to enter your country code again. You can simply type out the name of your country and then enter your number in this section. Once you're done, tap on send SMS. And then you need to solve the capture. Simply enter in this section what you see on the capture. And then tap on submit. Once you've received the code, enter the code you received. And then tap on continue. Once you've successfully created an account, this will take you to your console home. Here you want to tap on the squares at the top left corner of your screen. And here you want to scroll till you find all services. Tap on all services. Under all services, scroll till you find EC2. Tap on EC2 with virtual server in the cloud. Scroll down under EC2 till you find launch instance. Tap on launch instance. And here you'll be able to create a new virtual machine. In the name and tag, you can leave it optional. You want to scroll down to where you see quick start. Now you can scroll in this section till you find Windows and then tap on Windows. And then tap on the drop down in this section and look for Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base. You'll find several options here. You want to find base with free tie eligible. Now tap on the base version. And then scroll down under the base version. Under instance type, 
you see the details about the CPU and the memory that is allocated. You can tap on this and you find other instances that are equally free. Choose your preferred option in this section, but make sure what you're choosing has free tier eligible on it. And once you're done selecting, you want to scroll down to key pair. Tap on create new key pair and enter a key pair name. And then scroll down and make sure that the private key file format is spam. Scroll down under this and tap on create key pair. The key pair will be created and downloaded to your phone or your computer. Now scroll down under network. You want to leave the network settings as they are. Scroll down a little bit and everything here seems good. You can also configure storage if you want. Now scroll down to the bottom and tap on launch instance. This usually takes a while, but allow you to finish the launching process. Once the instance has been launched, you want to tap on the ID of the instance which has been created. You find the ID in the success message. Tap on this. And now you should find details about the instance which you have created. Once an instance has been created, you need to wait for about 5 minutes before further actions. Once the instance is ready, you will see updated less than a minute ago or related. Here you want to tap on action and then tap on security. Tap on get windows password and you want to upload the private key which has been downloaded. Tap on this and then upload the private key from your device. Scroll down to the bottom and tap on decrypt password. Here you now see your password which has been created. You can go ahead and copy them and save them. Open note on your device and then paste what you've copied. Now go back and tap on OK. Now for the instance which you have created, as you can see in this section when you tap, the current and new instance which I've created, you want to scroll down under the instance detail. You see the public IPv4 address. Copy the IPv4 address to be able to use the virtual machine on your phone. You want to go to your App Store on your Android phone or your iOS device, and then you want to search for Parallel Client. So already do have it installed. You'll find it here. Once the app is opened, you want to tap on the plus at the top right corner of your screen, and you see Create RDP Connection instead. Click on this. Under friendly name, you can enter any name you want for your VPS. Your server address is the public IPv4 you have copied. So simply go back and copy the IPv4. Paste it in the server address section here. Username is administrator. So go back, copy the administrator in the section, and then paste it in the username section. Your password is the password that has been generated. Copy the password and then paste it in the password section here. Once you're done, tap on connection section here and you want to make sure that the port is 3389. So if it's already 3389, you can leave it and then tap on connect at the top right corner of your screen. Now you should get this option which requires you to accept. Tap on accept. And this will start connecting you to your virtual machine. For the first time using it, this will take a while to start up. So you need to wait patiently and let it set up. So once you're done, you'll be able to access your virtual machine just like you can see on my screen. You can scroll with your fingers. To click, you can tap. To right click, you want to use your two fingers. And this will give you the options for right clicking. To do things such as zoom or click on difficult places, you can tap and hold down on your screen and you see the red cycle. That will help you click difficult places. So you'll be able to browse and access the internet with the virtual machine. Now the only challenges I find using the mobile version is downloading apps. So you'll be able to browse and do every other thing, but downloading certain apps is restricted. So you need to sideload, which you need a PC to do that. I'll show you how to do that with a PC. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description. Now once you're here, you're a root user since you're using an email. Select the root user and then enter your email address in this section and click on next.
enter your password and then click on sign in it should take you to your amazon console dashboard on the console home you will see the ec2 you can simply click here and it will take you to ec2 or click on this and then click on all services you also find this where you click on the three line in this section here and you see all services click on ec2 and under ec2 you want to click on instances in this section any instances you've previously created you'll find them here so simply select on the instance you want to manage here and then click on connect here under rdp client here you want to click on rdp client for your pc you want to scroll down and click on download remote desktop file and then click on save this will download the remote desktop to get your password on pc you can simply click on the instance name click on action and then click on security here and click on get windows password here you'll be able to upload the security key so i have previously sent the security key to the pc you can drag it to this section and then click on decrypt password you'll be able to get your remote desktop password here once copied you want to go and open the remote desktop which you have just downloaded and then click on connect you need to enter the password paste the password you've copied you can select the option to remember me if you don't want it to ask for password each time you log in click on ok and then click on yes this will open your remote desktop on your pc now to get apps into your vps what you want to do is get the setup file once you have the setup file of the app you want to install you want to go ahead and copy not drag to drop just copy go back to your vps and then right click and then you see the option to paste click on paste this immediately start copying the file to your vps after successfully copying you can go ahead and launch the file and then proceed to installation so thank you for watching this video and i hope you found this video helpful if you do find this video helpful feel free to leave a like subscribe so let me know in the description what kind of video you'd like to watch next.